But first at five, a police report filed after some tense moments as the sons of Confederate veterans began the process of removing the remains of Confederate general and slave trader Nathan Bedford Forrest as well as his wife. The statue itself came down back in December 2017, and this final step follows years of legal wrangling and court decisions. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders is live in the medical district this evening. And Brad, uh, who filed the police report? Tammy, correct? It was Tammy Sawyer. Things are calmer now here at Katina and Richard at this site, but they weren't earlier this afternoon during that heated exchange between Tammy Sawyer, who spearheaded the Take Him Down 901 movement, and one of the crew members who was working at the site earlier today. The scene really a microcosm of the passionate moments and fierce debate by some in this community on this statue's site and what it symbolizes for some in this community. We don't want to hear what she's got to say. She's nothing but a communist. Passions were high Tuesday afternoon as this man tangled verbally with Tammy Sawyer, a leading local voice of the removal of Confederate statues in Memphis in 2017. She shouldn't have even a platform here to speak to anybody. The spat came as Sawyer responded to this work that began Tuesday, led by the Sons of Confederate Veterans. It will remove the statue pedestal of Confederate General Nathan Bedford Forrest and transfer his body and his wife's underneath to a private burial site near Columbia, Tennessee, south of Nashville. He deserved no presence in a city that is 75% people of color, 65% black. Forest statue came down in December 2017 following a Memphis City Council vote to sell the public park to a private nonprofit and take down the more than century old monuments in Memphis's medical district. Lee Miller, a Sons of Confederate veteran spokesperson, said the descendants of Forrest supported the transfer of his remains to a different location closer to a Confederate museum that's being finalized. Things have changed and the Forrest family felt that uh, the, the remains of General Forrest and Mrs. Forrest should be someplace where he can be respected, protected, and visited. Uh, without any danger, which is not the case here. Late Tuesday afternoon, Van Turner, the president of the nonprofit Memphis Green Space that oversees the park, ordered that Confederate flags placed on the park's fence property also come down. Having the Confederate flags up there will only draw the ire of more people coming out to protest. So we're trying to keep things calm, have them come in and do their job, and everyone uh, move on with what they have to do. Now, the Sons of Confederate Veterans expects the transfer and removal process at this site should take about three weeks to complete. Van Turner, who you just heard from the president of Memphis Green Space, said he's hopeful most, if not all of that work, will be done in time for a scheduled Juneteenth commemoration right here at this park site, June 19th. Reporting live in Memphis's Medical District, Brent Broders, Local 24 News.